Let's look at number three. If you've read it already, you see there are 357 customers that um, were at a bar. We want to find the median age of those customers. The median is found at n plus 1 over 2 observation. Since there's 357, then there's 358 divided by 2. And this is at 358 divided by 2. It's 179. So where is the 179th observation? Well, the first um, class has 126, the next 66. And that will bring us to 192. So that means that 179 must be in this class. So the answer is 21 to 23. Your answer is B. For the next couple of problems, we need to apply the property of density curves, namely that the area under any density curve is 100% or 1. That's whether the area is, uh, or the density curve is a rectangle, or a triangle, or any odd shape. The area must be 100%. Let's begin with the rectangle. The area of a rectangle, we know, is equal to the height times the width of the rectangle. We know that the area must be 1 or 100 percent. We don't know the height, but we do know the width. The width is calculated as 2, and how did I do that? In general, I'm going to always calculate the width for, um, for a rectangle as the upper end minus the lower end, in this case 6 minus 4 which is 2. So this width is 2 and that makes the height 1 half. So the height of this rectangle, this density curve, is a half and we can use that property to calculate the area between any two points from 4 to 6. So let's calculate the area between 4.7 and 5.2. In other words, the probability of being in between 4.7 and 5.2 where the x here is this density curve known as the uniform density. To calculate this using the same formula, area equals height times width. The height is still a half, but the width has changed. How do we calculate that? Width is equal to the upper minus the lower end, or 5.2 minus 4.7, which is, which is 0.5, or half we'll just put it in as 0.5 and so 0.5 times a half is equal to 0.25 the answer is C similarly but different in the next problem we have an area for a triangle to deal with the area of a triangle, we know, or we're told, or reminded, is 0.5 times base times height. And the base, we know, just like we calculated the width, we can calculate the base. The base is upper minus lower. It's going to be 5 minus 0, or 5. So we have that. We have the area, and all we need is the height. The height must be 1 over 0.5 over 5, which is equal to 0 0.4. So the answer is B.